It's Alabama's Morning News. I'm JT. Joining us now, fourth generation oil and gas professional, Jay Young is here to talk about what's happening in the college campuses now. Is it starting to spread? Yeah, back to remote. Why no, not COVID. This time, gas prices. Jay, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Thanks, JT. Thanks for having me again. Boy, I got to tell you, the uh, Biden policies, he thinks, oh, they got to be cheering and toasting champagne in that Oval Office. Their plan is working. Now, they don't care about these gas prices. Where hey, everybody's going to go buy electric cars next week. So yeah, we're going to we're going to get this green deal moving here. Hey, thank you, AOC. High five to you too for helping us push this thing here. So um, it just it, astronomical stupidity in the policy. Uh, ab- absolutely, there's no way you can flip a switch and go from you know energy that we're currently using into a new energy and electric and it's. Look, I'm all about more efficient ways and saving money and getting things done and cleaning up and blah, blah, blah. This is a 10-year, 15-year process, not 10 weeks. Yeah, exactly. It takes it takes time, you know, to, to put your prospects together to get the capital needed to drill and complete wells. I mean, private equity companies spent hundreds of billions of dollars back in the, you know, last time that we had $100 oil and then, you know, brought the prices down. I mean, it went negative at one time because of, well, because of COVID and, and supply problem and the, and the demand went to zero, but you know, it, it just takes time. So it is, it, it is not pretty for oil and gas prices right now. Biden, I don't know if he got over his skis or what, what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, that the ABC thing. wild like world of cars, sports. But, yeah. I can picture it now here. Here he comes down the ski jump. I remember years ago, uh, and he jumps, and the guy's well out over his skis, like, whoa, and he crashes. You're right. You, right. Great analogy. Right. I, I agree. He's well out yeah. over his skis. So let me ask you, Jay, being an expert in uh, oil and gas, if if uh, you were to, able to work your way into a cabinet meeting and somebody said, all right, well, look, we got a special guest. Jay Young is here. Jay, what are we ought to be doing here domestically to help these American people and the madness at the pump these days. What would you do? What would you say? Yeah, great, great analogy, JT. And I'll tell you a good question, and I'd love to do it. I'll tell you because I, I tell them, number one, we need to start drilling for oil and gas again. I mean, the, the Russia situation did curtail us a little bit, but we do need to get back to drilling, drill, baby, drill. And we need to lessen up our government. I mean, our government's shutting us down, hurting us. It's not only from the national, but, I mean, even the states. I mean, like in Wyoming, we're getting ready to drill some wells up there, and they're putting us on like a three-month wait to get a permit. In Texas, I can get a permit tomorrow. You know, so it's not only just federal, but it is states. There's private equity companies out there that are that are starting to come back to drilling for oil and gas or putting money to work, you know, but it's, it's taking time. I'd be out there talking to them, saying, invest in oil and gas. And also public companies like Exxon made $6 billion in the first quarter. They spent $10 billion buying back their stock. Instead of putting that $6 billion to work like they normally would have 10 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, they're because of the ESG, because people are yep. saying, hey, you know, and, I'm, and ESG of the social governance, and they're saying we don't want to be drilling for oil and gas, and they're listening to the or drinking the Biden's Kool Aid and yep. and you know these people that are green not, not not I'm sorry not they're not green but they're not purple or not not color green but they're people that are not wanting to drill for oil and gas I mean we need to we need to say hey you know what that's great all good but we need to get back to drilling for a while we need oil and gas in the United States because that'll lower the pump look at drill baby drill under President Trump two dollar gas and then on my on my LinkedIn page, Jay Young, King Operating, I, I, I forwarded a video that, that Ted Cruz did in the United in the Texas, and it's about Biden took office. It was two dollars. It's four fifty now. Whatever the this is a couple of weeks ago, yeah, and it's probably gone up to five since then. But but the reasons why there's like eight to ten different reasons on what he has done to affect. The price at the pump, the pain at the pump, we say, all because of what he has done. And it's not just him. There's a lot of different. No, there's so you're you're right, Jay. I mean, there's so many different angles on this thing that are preventing us from getting the prices down and things we could be doing. I sure do appreciate you being here this morning with us. Check it out on his LinkedIn page. Jay Young, fourth generation oil and gas professional.